When you first start your ketogenic diet, your body senses that you are starving because you have eliminated its primary source of fuel, glucose, forcing it to run on ketones. The challenge is that these ketones are not just laying in wait, waiting to be used. Your body must make them using enzymes and pathways that it probably does not have readily available. In this video, we'll explain how your body changes as you move from running on glucose to running on ketones. So the first step is that you want to start turning your fat into ketones. Mm -hmm. So how do you do that? So you've got to restrict your carbohydrate intake. You've got to kind of take that supply of energy away from mm -hmm. your body. And that is going to end up giving you low glucose. That is going to end up giving you a lower insulin level. And that in turn is going to give you a uh, higher glucagon level, which is a hormone that's secreted by the body in response to low glucose, mm -hmm. right? So glucagon is almost the opposite of insulin in, in that it main thing that it does is it tells the liver to go into a process called glycogenolysis, right. which is taking the glycogen that's stored in your liver and breaking it into glucose molecules so that it can get that blood sugar level back up where it wants it to be. Right. Yeah, so we take these this somewhat long term glycogen ol lysis, right? So it's you, you see glycogen there and lysis, which is basically cutting apart glycogen. Glycogen is is um, how your liver and your muscles uh, store glucose for future use, and um, you have about a hundred grams of glycogen stored in your liver. And, which is about 400 calories worth. So you're, when you're cutting them out of your diet, then your body, your uh, liver will make more that way. There's also another way that right. your liver will make glucose when you're not eating it, and that is called gluconeogenesis. Uh, so here again, kind of a long word, but if you just break it apart, it's glucose new making. It is literally your liver making new glucose. Right, and that new glucose is coming from non-glucose uh, or, or glucose-based um, substrates. Substrates. <laughs> That's it. Substrates. Um, so it, you know, it could be protein. It could be you know any number of things. But that is that is the mm -hmm. you know making of glucose from something that's not glucose. Right. So so. If you're following along, hopefully you are, uh, it, it probably seems backward thinking, right? Why is, your, why is your body making glucose when your whole goal is to get your glucose low so that you can burn fat? Right. So we can't have a glucose level of zero. Mm -hmm. There are some tissues in our body and some cells that have to run on glucose. They, they just can't run on anything else. Yeah. So red blood cells um, will utilize glucose. Brain cells will utilize glucose. Uh, and your liver is efficiently making glucose in the absence of you eating carbohydrates and e taking it in. Um, but the, even though your liver is producing this glucose, it is not going to be enough to run your body and your brain efficiently. And this now is when your body uh, turns to fat burning in in, a, in high gear. Right. So we have a we have a low insulin level because we have a low carbohydrate intake. Right. That in, that low insulin level actually allows our triglycerides to be liberated from our fat cells and used for energy when needed. And if you remember other videos, we a triglyceride is basically a glycerol backbone and three, not four, three fatty acid chains. Mm -hmm. And there's an, through an enzymatic process, those fatty acid chains are cut off of that glycerol backbone. Now, that glycerol backbone can be used to make some glucose, but not, a, not very much. Mm -hmm. The fatty acids themselves can be used by certain muscle or you know, certain tissues. Um, yeah. Muscle and heart um, actually run very well on just fatty acids. Some of those fatty acids are actually going to go to the liver and they're going to be turned into ketones. Right. And, and before we get we go into the last step there with making ketones, um, it, it is good to know that not all of your tissues can run on these free fatty acids. Um, so like you said, these free fatty acids that cleave off of the triglyceride, well, your skeletal muscle, your heart, they can run really well on those free fatty acids. But um, your red blood cells, which we talked about earlier, red blood cells don't have mitochondria, which are those little powerhouses that take in the free fatty acid and turn it into 
the body's energy, which is ATP. So they can't run on, on uh, free fatty acids. Another big exception is your big brain, right? They, your, your brain is big, but so are free fatty acids. Free fatty acids can't get through the blood brain barrier because they're too big um, to feed the brain directly. So the brain has to run on glucose. If glucose isn't coming in through your diet, you've got a problem, right? You need a secondary source, which is a nice small molecule called a ketone. ketone. Yep. So, uh, and, and ketone, actually your brain runs very well on ketone. Mm -hmm. and your, your brain is kind of an energy hog too. It, mm -hmm. It's, I think, uh, 600 calories a day maybe that mm -hmm. it's using just to, to do what it needs to do. So ketones are made by your liver. There are three main ketones, uh, acetoacetate, which is the first step of making ketones. That then can be converted into two other things. Uh, in a one-way reaction, it can go to acetone, and that gets breathed out. Once it goes to acetone, it can't go back. Uh, it can also get converted into beta-hydroxybutyrate, which is the main ketone that our bodies use. That's the ketone we find in our blood, and when we test our blood and our mm -hmm. ketones, that's what we're measuring. Now, there's a little bit of back and forth between beta-hydroxybutyrate and acetoacetate, um, but it is, it is kind of a downward reaction, a downstream reaction to get to beta-hydroxybutyrate. Now, some of the acetoacetate you can excrete in your urine, and that's where the urine strips mm -hmm. come in. So our bodies are making ketones right now because we don't have any glucose. And the other thing to, to talk about is that there's no storage form of ketones mm -hmm. in the body. They have to be just constantly produced. When we're not eating carbohydrates, the body has to constantly produce these right. ketones. So if, if a ketogenic diet is something that, that you're interested in, mm -hmm. um, you should really try our 21 day keto challenge. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's three weeks of meal plans each day is formulated to be 25 grams of carbohydrates or less. It Total. will get you into ketosis mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we've got it all set up for you. Yep. Yep. So uh, we'll leave links for you here. Thanks so much for watching. Hope that was helpful. Please subscribe. We'll see you next week. Thanks.